What's up? Welcome to a spooky Halloween themed episode. Oh, it's not Halloween themed. That's odd, especially considering we're gonna be talking about vampires and clowns. So for years now, since social media has been a thing, there has always been this highlight on cosmetic procedures and things like Instagram face and fake booties and the like. Well, today we're gonna be talking about teeth. These suckers right here. Now, technically, I'm late to this trend. A lot of this information on this trend I found actually was done in 2020. But if you're like me and you didn't know about it until this year, this is the video for you. In this video, we're gonna be talking about veneers, a also known as the veneers check trend. Now, like I said, this was more prevalent in 2020, but I still see some of this same stuff going on. In fact, a person that I know in real life recently had their teeth done and I like, I don't know, I was just like, hmm. And then after I saw them, I started noticing that a lot of these influencers had like similar sparkly white, slightly, what's the word? Uh, just off teeth. So I went digging and I found that there was a whole thing about it. So let's talk about it. A lot of social media influencers have been getting veneers just to add to their, uh, their need to have this perfect appearance, right? As such, there has been a lot of growth in the veneers, teeth whitening, basically teeth beautification type of procedures, things, services being done. And a lot of influencers who have veneers actually endorse teeth whitening products, which side note, don't even work on veneers. That is sketchy right there, right off the bat. So before the veneers check trend even became a thing, there was something that was the teeth filing trend, which is exactly what you think it is. People filing down their teeth to get them straight, like with the file, like with a nail file. I'm gonna try that. I can do you one better. I'm not actually gonna get it close to my teeth. Dentists are saying, don't do it. It's dangerous, you're gonna regret it, and it's something you cannot take back. So, that was the precursor to the veneers check trend. So what is the veneers check trend in case you missed it last year? The veneers check trend is people most of the time flying to other countries having their teeth shaved down into tiny pegs that look like shark teeth and getting them refitted with veneers. So what are veneers? Porcelain veneers are thin shells of porcelain that are custom made that fit over the front surfaces of the teeth to change the color, look, shape, and alignment of the teeth. We go through a multi-step process in order to achieve this result. We permanently bond the porcelain veneers to the teeth and once bonded, they will last 15 years and longer and now we have a new smile. So veneers are really thin sheets of porcelain that are fitted over your existing teeth. One article from Amazing Smiles I read said that it's similar to putting on a fake nail, if you know what I mean, ladies. Or gentlemen, you know, inclusivity. And then I gotta include the themelmans. Can I say that? Can I say that? I'm, I think I'm, I'm too small to be canceled. Gentle thems, I like that better. So when applying a veneer, a dentist may just shave a little bit of your natural tooth down, which allows the veneer to bond with your tooth and to secure it there more effectively. And most of your natural tooth remains just underneath. The cost of a porcelain veneer is around 1100 to 1300 per tooth. But as you can see here, that doesn't sound like what these influencers are doing. Their teeth are getting shaved down into spikes, which is not a veneer. So I really wanna talk about Katie Price's teeth. She's recently shared some videos about getting her veneers replaced. And I put veneers in air quotes because these are not veneer preparations, these are crown preparations. And there's a big difference. So this is a typical veneer preparation. As you can see, it's not a tiny stump. And as long as your teeth are aligned, veneers require minimal to no preparation whatsoever. 
and veneers are much less destructive to the teeth. I think it's really important to understand the difference between veneers and crowns, particularly if you're someone that's considering cosmetic dental treatment. Now, I don't know the history, but looking at this old picture of Katie Price, I really don't understand why her teeth have been shaved down to pegs. Because it's much quicker because less skill is required. Once your teeth are down to stumps, there is no going back. I beg you, if you're looking to get cosmetic dental treatment, find a reputable, minimally invasive dentist. And remember, price usually reflects the skill of the dentist and the quality of the work. Crowns are caps that fit over what's left of your natural tooth. They shave down the tooth to a very small little nub called a post, and they fit the crown, which looks like a tooth, over that post and bond it there. Now, there are certain times where a dentist might recommend a crown over a veneer, such as if you accidentally damage your tooth, if your tooth has cracked, if your tooth is breaking apart from decay or any type of other incident that might cause your tooth to be weak or for cosmetic reasons where veneers are not applicable crowns cost anywhere from 1200 to 1400 per tooth and depending on that person's needs the dentist may recommend a combination of both veneers and crowns when it goes well people have gotten some really great looking teeth like check out all these people they look good right makes you want to go and fly to turkey and get some teeth put in but it doesn't always go good does it sometimes it goes bad and it goes very bad or something do not get veneers y'all see how these buckaroos look my motherfucking teeth look like they look like a whore fucking horse. The fuck? I'm not. I'm getting these taken out. Going back there. I got to fly all the way back there just to get these taken out. I don't like them at all. And I'm so dumb. I get up. The chair don't even say nothing. I'm just leaving like a dumbass. I hate them. So what are the dentists saying? Many dentists have chimed in on social media to raise awareness of the potential long-term effects of this process. A lot of dentists are trying to warn people that calling this hashtag veneers check is actually very misleading because they are not veneers, they are indeed crowns. And most of the time, in a lot of cases, a person's natural teeth do not need to be filed down that much. They also say that veneers and crowns need to be replaced every 10 to 15 to 20 years. So not only are you paying that price I mentioned earlier for those veneers or crowns in this case now, but you're gonna have to cough up that money every 15 or so years. And because the process puts so much stress on your teeth, it can weaken your actual teeth and cause nerve damage in your tooth. So you better be ready to commit to that decision because once your teeth have been shaved down, there is no going back. I don't need you to lower the bar for me. I know I'm super warm. I know I'm strong. I know I've got this. Okay, so first of all, those are not veneers and those are full coverage crowns. If you've seen my previous video, you will know that shaving teeth down to pegs like that is going to damage the nerve and you're going to need a root canal treatment and an extraction at some point in your life. Second point, veneers or crowns will need to be replaced every 10 to 15 years typically. Now, she is a gorgeous young woman. I think she is, what, around 18 or 19 maximum? And she is going to need to replace them probably four or five times throughout her lifetime, if not more. Not only the financial burden isn't going to be an issue, secondly, it's going to be a biological burden because the tooth physically can't be prepared and reprepared every single time. So she's a gorgeous young lady and she's just ruined her teeth, possibly for the rest of her life, and she's going to have dentures by the age of 40. I personally wouldn't choose that. Would you? Now, what are my thoughts? Obviously, I'm always going to side with science. Whatever the scientists say, whatever the, the dentists, the people who went to school for years and years and years say, is what I'm gonna listen to. I'm not gonna listen to <laughs> some TikTok influencer, but there are a lot of young, impressionable people out there, which is the problem, right? If I was 18 or 19 or whatever, and I had imperfect teeth, I might be considering that. And if I had the income, you know, I might be considering doing something like that. And now I've made a decision that's gonna affect me for the rest of my life. If I were to get my teeth filed down to pegs, when I was 18 years old and they need to be replaced every 15 years. Oh, math. 
I'd have to get them replaced when I was 33. Hey Google, what's 18 plus 15? It's 33. And if I had as many teeth as some of these influencers had replaced, like this, all of this and all of that down there, that's like eight teeth. These, the canines are getting those too. Let me go ahead and just include those. So let me see as math. Three times four is 12. So that's 12 teeth. And I know I got there in a weird way. I could have just did eight plus the four canines, but I didn't go to school for math. Okay, 12 times, let's go on the conservative side for crowns, which is 12. Oh, this is gonna be easy. 12 times 1,200 would be $14,400. So not only are you gonna need $14,400 right now, you're gonna need that at your disposal every 15 years. That's not to say that your teeth are gonna need this, but what if they do? What if you have the teeth that need to be replaced on that scale? Is that something that you wanna risk? You don't know, you might be that person. Your teeth might need to be replaced every 10 years. You won't know until you do it. My number one rule is the only person that you can control is yourself. I can't control what other people do. Right, they gon people gonna do what they gonna do. If you wanna file your teeth down to fangs and have freaking whiskers implanted in your face, do it. If you want to jump off a bridge into a vat of blue cheese, which sounds delicious, do it. Well, I won't say do it, but I'll say you can do that. You have the autonomy and the free will to do what you want to do, but, just my personal opinion, because I like giving my personal problematic opinion, I think in a lot of these cases, not all, in a lot of these cases, I'll say this, I'll put a disclaimer before. I'm specifically talking about the crowns that influencers are getting, not actual veneers, because I personally think actual veneers looks really good, but we've established already that these influencers are not getting veneers, they are getting crowns. So I personally think that they look bad. I think they look really, really bad. Most of the time, most of the time. I won't say they look bad all the time because they look good on some people, but on a lot of people, they just look unnatural. They're too white, they're too square, they're too big, and the teeth don't always fit that person's face. And I mean, my rule for beauty this is just my rule for beauty, is your features are fine. Any feature that you have on your body is fine. But if I'm sticking to my own personal beauty standard, I would say I try to stay away from things that distract from my face. You know, cause I feel like if when people are talking to you, all they're gonna be looking at is that thing that you have that is taking away all the attention from your face. I mean, obviously you can't control everything. You can't control the size nose you have unless you wanna go and get it done. You can't control the size forehead you have unless you wanna go and get it done. I have pretty fat cheeks. Ouch, I hurt myself. I've been called a chipmunk as recently as yesterday. And uh, I'm at peace with it. I, if it's something that you're born with, that's completely different. But I don't understand why anybody would want to add something to their face that doesn't fit their features or doesn't fit their face. Or in some cases, like that guy, doesn't fit your mouth. Having teeth that are like an unnatural white color is distracting, which is the first thing I noticed about the girl who I know that got her teeth done is that her teeth were unnaturally white. Like they were so white that they were almost like blue, if that makes any sense at all. Have you ever seen something that is so white, it has like a blue sheen? That's what it looked like to me. And it did it just, I, they just didn't look natural to me. But I completely understand wanting straighter teeth or wanting whiter teeth. I had braces when I was 13 and I was lucky to have like, my teeth are decent. I think that my canines are really small. <laughs> but other than that, they're very square. I was lucky that my parent, we didn't have the finances, but it happened. But I'm very lucky that my mother got me braces when I was at such a young age. It always is crazy to me when I see someone, especially if that person looks like they were well off, you know? If I look at their family and their family looks like they're a well off family and they've never had braces and they have crooked teeth, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised because we were poor and I got them. 
Obviously, not judging anybody, everybody's journey is completely different. I am all for people looking the way they want. Look the way you want. But I've said this in a, in a video before, like I hope that people are making these changes for themselves and not because they saw somebody with it on Instagram. If I went and got my teeth filed down tomorrow, I've been brainwashed, right? Because I think my teeth are fine. You just heard me say, I think my teeth are fine. But if I somehow went and got it done, I would be brainwashed. There are other procedures that I wouldn't mind having done that I've had an, on my body that I've had an issue with since I was 14 years old. That is something that is a reason to change it. You know, like if, it, if, it, if it's something that's been bothering you, <laughs> if it's something that's been bothering you for that long, it's probably good to change it, you know? Or if you feel like it hinders your life, you know, if you have like really bad cystic acne or if you do have like a uh, crooked teeth or yellow teeth, definitely I am all for it. I guess I just want people to look natural instead of plastic. I think that's ultimately what I care about. <laughs> look, I am not the authority on beautiful at all and I have said countless times that I believe in body autonomy 100%. This is just my opinion. I would love it if people, when they did go and do these procedures, if they just looked natural. Even when I did the big butts video, my biggest gripe well, not my biggest gripe. My biggest gripe was that we should have body diversity, right? I also believe that we should have teeth diversity. We shouldn't all have the same teeth. But my second biggest gripe was that it didn't look natural. So I guess to me, it, it's distracting. So if I'm talking to somebody and they got a big ass set of super ultra white teeth, that's all I'm gonna be looking at when I'm talking to them. And I'm gonna be trying the whole time I'm talking to them to distract myself and look elsewhere. Maybe people do that with my cheeks. Are my cheeks distracting? If you're wondering whether I can store food in here, I can, up to 48 hours. But, you know, like I said, I'm not against cosmetic surgery. If there's something on your body that you've always wanted to change, go for it. If you're a person who's has who has teeth that are like, for whatever reason or another, not able to get braces or not wouldn't be responsive to braces or wouldn't look good even if you had them, and you want a nice smile, I say get the veneers, you know? Get the veneers, not the crowns, because that protects your actual tooth better. I'll give you an example, and it's it's kind of links back to something I said earlier. So today, I went and got my nails done. Don't you like it? They're so purple. They're purpley and they're sparkly. And these, these are SNS nails, okay? I don't like acrylic. So if you're a person who doesn't get their nails done, or what they do to your nail when you go to the shop. They use a Dremel like this guy and they file off the top layer of your nail. So you might think, huh, wouldn't that weaken the nail and make it vulnerable to the world? Yes, you're very correct. It does weaken the nail and make it vulnerable to the outside. But once they put this, uh, once they put the nail over it, it feels fine, you know? But what happens is these nails obviously are gonna have to be redone. They're gonna grow out or they could break. And guess what? They're gonna have to do that filing thing all over again if I want a new set of nails. And that's why I normally don't get my nails done for that exact purpose. I really hate having my nails filed down. I told them I wanted the minimal amount of filing that they could possibly do. The absolute minimal because it is painful when they come off because my nails are so exposed. Like even the air hurts my nails. Now SNS nails don't cause as much damage as acrylic because they don't have to file down as much of your natural nail. And I can kind of compare it like SNS nails are like veneers and acrylic nails are like crowns. So, so that's my comparison. Like today, when they were like, what do you want, SNS or acrylic? And I was like, eh, I definitely want the least amount of pain. So let's go with that. Even if people think SNS doesn't look as good. I don't give a fuck because it's my health. They don't have to deal with my health. Plus I like them, I think they're cute. But yeah, it just sucks that this is a thing and it's a fad and that it's happening and people are going and getting their natural teeth, their perfectly healthy natural teeth completely shaved down. And I think it's even more tragic because a lot of these people are in their late teens, early 20s getting this done. 
and if they're gonna have to get those replaced they're gonna get them replaced while they're still a young person you know they're gonna have to get them replaced in their late 20s or their early 30s I know that doesn't sound young to a person who is it who is 18 or 19 or 20 it's still very young it's still very very young so maybe not very very young but it's definitely still young and like I said, my biggest gripe is that I don't want people making permanent changes to their body because of a fad. Because what's gonna happen when that fad goes out of style? Are you gonna follow on the next fad? A lot of people are getting the jewels put in their teeth. I didn't do any research on that, but I can't imagine that that's good for the tooth. I ain't doing shit to my teeth. I don't even like drinking drinks with sugar in it because I am paranoid about my teeth. But if you've seen this whole video and you still want to get veneers or crowns, crowns in the case of this video, take care of them. Brush, floss, keep your gums healthy, and that will keep your natural underlying teeth healthy, which will prolong the health of your teeth. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video. What do you think about the veneers check trend? Would you go and get your teeth shaved down to baby shark teeth in order to get the perfect smile? Or in some of these cases, the perfect smile, the perfectly creepy smile, honestly. Do not forget to like and subscribe. People tell me all the time like, okay, maybe not all the time, but I've gotten a couple comments here and there. People like, oh, you're so underrated. I don't know how your channel hasn't blown up yet. Well, the best way to help out with that is to engage with my video. Give me a like uh, to let the algorithm know you like this content. Give me a comment below. And even if you don't know what to write, just tell me, how is your day going? How are you feeling? I wanna know about you. Plus, it's free engagement from you is absolutely free and also don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this i will see you next time peace